Hey guys, Drifter here. What you're watching right now is my first and only attempted playthrough of the map Nightfall. This is the extra extinction map that comes with the Onslaught DLC. I am not a big uh, extinction player, so I didn't know what to expect from this, and I don't play extinction a lot. But in the very beginning of the game, your buddy here tries to warn you about something. The whole map starts to shake, and that looks like a huge crab alien, and yep, your buddy's dead. Bye-bye. Thankfully, he does drop a whole lot of useful stuff, a rifle which you can't purchase till later. That's the Maverick. That's the new gun. But you get some ammo and some Simtex, and so I think some one of my teammates also picked up body armor or something off the fellow. He has a lot of nice drops in the beginning, but I'm going to tell you about what I found in this map, uh, what I think about it, how it looks, all that sort of thing. I'm going to give you my opinion, and that'll take probably five to six minutes, and then the rest of this gameplay will just be raw, unedited gameplay from the extinction mode all the way up until the point at which we die, which as you can tell is about, you know, 12 and a half, 13 minutes into the game. We, ha we had some problems here. Right now I'm playing with O oh Lord O, oh. I'm playing with formerly FaZe, but now Gamma Cross. Also playing with with uh, Veselka, who runs mpfirst.com. That's a pretty popular uh, site for information about first-person shooters. But let's go back to talking about Extinction Mode and what's different, better, bad, worse about this one. So, good things about it is that they've added a story. When you come in, you know your guy tries to warn you. But as you go through the map, you'll find little Easter eggs and little pieces of information about why the aliens are here, what's going on. And to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't get very far into the Easter eggs. I only got the opportunity to play this once. Uh, we made it a certain distance in. And there were also sorts of little keys and things that we were supposed to find hidden and or not maybe not necessarily supposed to find easily but they were available and we got no help I am able to see things that are locked I'm able to see pieces of information but I'm not able to fully collect them all so they're kind of going, the zombies are out here adding a lot, a lot of easter eggs. I don't know if they'll be practical easter eggs or if it's just like story based easter eggs, but there's a lot of stuff to go and find and do, which is kind of cool. It makes it more fun. The original extinction map was just like, go here, plant drill, bomb this, do that. And there was some intel and some stuff, but it wasn't super compelling. So having a story is nice. They added one new alien who is very difficult to deal with, thankfully, which you'll see in a little bit. Cross had a hypno knife and he nailed the new alien with a hypno knife so you can see its mechanics beautifully in this one. Basically, it's like, uh, think about these little, these, these leapers here, these little bitty ones that jump at you. One of those, but bigger, faster, armored, more aggressive, and it teleports. So, whenever it jumps, which is quite frequent, it will also teleport, and you can't see it. And it'll usually just, like, hit you once, and then poof, and, and it disappears into a puff of smoke like a child's ma magician, and then shows up somewhere else and smacks you again. Pretty hard to deal with, but thankfully Cross nailed it with a Hypno Knife and it turned over to our team, so you can watch it kind of teleport around and kill aliens and do all sorts of stuff. I thought I could climb with the bomb, apparently I couldn't, I have to walk around here. The giant alien you're going to get to see at the end kills all of us, because we had no idea how to deal with it. Uh, it's it's a pretty interesting boss, it's not a really mobile boss, it doesn't climb over the buildings or stamp people, which I was really hoping for. A little bit disappointed there, but it's more like its own building, it like kind of makes its own turret and you really don't want to run up to it and get close to it or run under it or anything it it just kind of takes up like a huge i don't know like a quarter to a third of the map and just blocks everything off and once you deal with it then theoretically you can move on although unfortunately we could not deal with it i think the snow location is nice it's a good change up from the bleary uh, not the bleary the dreary and bleak and like post-nuclear, pre-nuclear uh, city, the whole, you know, Call of Duty kind of gloom and doom gray, so snow is a nice change. As to what I think about the mode, do I think it's good, do I think it's bad, I still don't think it's a zombies replacement, it's definitely a lot better than chaos mode, definitely a lot better than the spec ops or whatever, and we're getting there, they're chasing zombies, they're going the zombies model, they're trying to add more zombies, more characters, more guns, more little power-ups, more easter eggs, easter eggs is the big one that they're pushing this time, but it's still just not got that, that zombies uh, replacement, I think the the real weakness on this extinction mode in general is that I don't know anything about the characters that I'm playing. Like normally when you join in with zombies or whatever, you'd get like a one minute cutscene on your characters and they would each be very, very distinct looking and have little quips and have little lines and stuff. But this is just kind of like I'm, I'm female soldier and now I'm black soldier or I could be goggles guy or I could be, uh, you know, guy with crazy face mask and that's kind of it and they don't really do a whole lot and they're not quirky or interesting or anything, which is, in my opinion, the biggest weakness on the mode. It's a straightforward survival thing. Uh, if you're interested in the, you know, alien story, you might get a lot out of it. But Extinction Mode, ultimately, not really my thing. This was neat, but this doesn't really sell a DLC for me, but that's my whole opinion on it. That's my rant. That's my spiel. We played much, much more multiplayer and other interesting things than Extinction, but I'm going to go ahead and cut off here. I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to let you watch the next, uh, you know, 8, 9, 10 minutes or so, just raw gameplay, and you can make up your own mind what you think about it. Drifter out. Changing that.
good job of work, if I may say so. Archer. General Castle. I hope you're not planning to set off another nuclear bomb. Time to pack it in, Archer. Too many people have died already. And if I stop now, it's they'll have died in vain. I'm afraid I can't do that, General. I've got the intel. to use. Thank <laughs> you. 